All right, we have some weather challenges right ahead of us. It's going to be another cold night and we're watching for more cold for your Halloween. It's a first alert weather day for those trick or treaters. We'll have much more on this as we go through the broadcast. Let's start with that. As a matter of fact, on Sunday, that cold punch of air arrives as we go into the morning hours. We spend much of the day in the 30s. Remember on Hutch's graphics here, the white line, that's the freezing line, makes it real easy to see that as we go through the weekend and even into next week, we'll be battling cold air and freezing air. It makes its way all the way down to northern Arkansas and parts of Missouri. As we make it through the lighter part of the week, that cold air shifts off into the eastern portion of the United States and some warmer air will make a return. So we're not done with some mild air the way things are looking now, but we certainly have a cold stretch coming, including tonight. 38 in Fargo right now, 39 at Moorheads Airport. Wind three miles per hour in the Fargo area. Not too bad. Look at the cold air and you can see where the blue is. That's that cold air in the 30s. That's where we have clear skies right now where we have more clouds. Well, we're holding off in those 40s in parts of western Minnesota. And here is a look at those clouds. The showers, though, have exited off towards Lake Superior. The clearest of the skies are out to the west of the Red River Valley. Your hour by hour forecast shows that batch of clouds moving out. What moves in? Once again, we'll battle some morning fog from the Red River Valley here in Fargo and even near Grand Forks and points east. That's where the best chance will be. Look at these temperatures. Many of us starting below freezing some upper 20s, not going to be out of the question to get you out of the door. Mid morning, the low clouds and fog could still be lingering around portions of Minnesota. We'll see sunshine breaking out out west and temperatures responding in kind. We're talking 50 to 60 degrees for most of the area with the warmest weather out to the west. James River Valley near 60 degrees. We'll see a lot of mid 50s, but look at this. Some clouds and showers returning from the north and west late in the day as a weather making system punches its way in. It'll bring changes on Saturday and big changes by Halloween 30 in the morning. So have that frost scraper handy. Bundle up the bus riders 53 light winds from the south at 5 to 15 miles per hour. That's the outlook for Fargo's day. Now your day out in central portions of Minnesota and lakes country low to mid 50s. We'll see increasing sunshine after some morning fog out there. And depending on how fast that fog is evaporated, that will dictate your temperatures and we'll be close to 60 as mentioned out west. How about a stunning Sunset McKenna, North Dakota. Tiffany, thank you for sharing that colorful shot. Now let's talk about the cold that takes hold Saturday. That batch of rain I showed you about will bring a chance of some spotty showers. It looks brief, but the wind picks up late Saturday from the northwest after being southerly throughout the first part of the day and temperatures start falling pretty dramatically into your Sunday morning. We'll spend most of Sunday in the 30s, peaking at 42 degrees. Look at those wind chills for the trick or treaters in the 20s. So bundle them up now. Next week we stay cold as we started off the broadcast with there. So get used to some 30s as you know, we really start making ice around the area when we get to time of the year where the high temperatures stay below freezing all day. We're below freezing and at least that isn't on this forecast. Well, sound good. That's something. <laughs> Getting used 